educational guess as to what I should be intaking to relieve that sore throat and to halt the sickness before it got too bad so and there wasn't really anything around the house that I could have used so I had a cup of chamomile tea after the salt gargle uh, then I made some ramen soup but when I make soup when I'm sick, I'll add spices to the water while it boils before I put in the actual soup. So I put in um, oregano, cayenne pepper, black pepper, uh, not too much but enough, uh, a little bit of salt, uh, maybe some parsley flakes, uh, paprika, uh, basil leaves. Uh, so I had that and then I woke up the next day. It wasn't as bad to swallow but I did a salt gargle. Oh, I did a salt gargle before I went to bed. Uh, then I woke up the next day, did a salt, gar salt 
gargle uh, and had a cup of chamomile tea. And then I came back here and then I really got started on trying to get better. And I used mostly teas. And the first tea I used was this organic peppermint natural caffeine free herbal tea. Uh, it's made by traditional medicinal and it's been around since 1974. Um, but this helps soothe your belly, alleviate digestive comfort, but is also good for congestion uh, and sore throat. And then when I was doing these teas, when I got back here, um, I would have tea when I woke up. I would have two cups and then two cups of a different tea after that because you don't want your body to get used to the intake of tea. Um, so I had two cups after the tea cup and then I had two cups and this is the day after all those other days. Um, whoa, got off. Um, two cups, two cups, two cups. And I was having a meal along with this um, water uh, in between cups. Um, And then two cups after like a two hour break um, in between teas and then I would have two cups shower and then two cups before bed. Um, and I was pr pretty much done by like the fifth day. It wasn't that bad. Like. My brother had it for like a week, I think. Um, but these are some of the teas I use. Uh, the first couple of days, I used this green tea, orange passion fruit, and jasmine Lipton green tea. And uh, the way I made the tea it was put the tea bag in a pot if you don't have a kettle and let it boil with the water because when I w started drinking the tea, I was putting the tea bag in a cup and letting it uh, dissolve into the hot water in the cup. But I think the tea is stronger when you do put it in the pot while the water boils. But there was that one. Um, um, some pumpkin spice tea, some orange and spice tea, and these are, oh, uh, well, orange for, like, uh, vitamin C and that stuff, and then spice for congestion. Um, I'm not sure what pumpkin spice is good for. Uh, I think it's just good in general. Um, don't want to drink too much pumpkin. It's why uh, it's seasonal because if you drink too much pumpkin, you can actually get really sick. Um, but I was also drinking chamomile tea throughout the day, which is good for sleep, for uh, congestion, for your stomach, for relaxing. Um, I was also drinking, what was this? It was a uh, orange and something tea. But I was drinking it for the orange because it has vitamin C in it. Um, this apple chai black tea came in one of those 
use an old sampler thing, so I'm not sure if you can get it on its own, but I'm sure if you look you can find it. Um, at the same, oh, this was a good one, a green tea lemon, and this is by Bigelow, but I was drinking that at least once a day because of the lemon, because it's supposed to be good for your throat. By the third day, my sore throat was gone. It was just coughing and congestion mucus. Um, another one of those orange and passion fruits. Um, I was also drinking this Bigelow Mint Medley Herbal Tea Blend of Cool Garden Spearmint and Peppermint. Caffeine free, all natural. Uh, ooh, oh, this is honey and caramel. Honey is good for your throat, for coughing. Uh, caramel is probably good for the same thing. This also came in one of those seasonal samplers. Um, this one's Caramel Nut, which, yeah, and then this one is Gingerbread because from smelling it, I guess it could be good for congestion, um, but the last day I was really sick, I had some of this Spice Chai Decaffeinated a tea, an exotic chai tea with a flavorful blend of spices. Now, I had two cups of this, I think, and by the time I was done, whatever was left basically evacuated my body. Like, it was gone. Uh, I did have a little coughing after that. But, like, this regimen of tea I did made me a believer in natural medicine. Because last year, I had the same problem around the same time of year where I woke up and it was just painful and agonizing to swallow. And I hadn't really medicated myself with and stuff like that. So it was very new and it took me about a week to get over whatever I had. But this time it was like five days max. Uh, and those last few days were just like really coughing and stuff. But I really recommend all of this tea I've shown you. Hopefully I was able to convey what each one was pretty well and what they were good for. Some of them I don't really know what they're good for, so I just made educated guess. Um, but yeah, if that's what works for me. If you want to go to the doctor, I'm not saying I'm a doctor, I'm not saying this is a cure-all, but this works for me. Um, if you want to try it out, um, I would talk to your doctor because some teas may not be good for certain types of medications you may be on. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give a like if you want to see more videos of me describing teas and what they're good for, then leave it in the comments. And if you haven't already, subscribe. What's on in it? Alright, bye guys.